In today's video, we're going to talk about how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So let's just jump right in. The process we're going to use is fairly straightforward. We're going to use the distributive property. So let's take a look at our first example. We have the monomial negative 3x squared, and we're going to multiply the polynomial 7x squared minus x plus 4. So let's just take a look at how this is going to work. So the first thing we need to do is I've just kind of separated this and I've, I've uh, done the different terms in different colors. So this is what we're going to distribute. We're going to distribute the negative 3x squared over what's inside the parentheses. So this is what it's going to look like. We're going to multiply each thing inside the parentheses by negative 3x squared. Well, what's that going to look like? We're going to have negative 3x squared times 7x squared and we're going to have subtract from that negative 3x squared times x and we're going to add to that negative 3x squared times 4. So let's go ahead and get these products. When I do negative 3x squared times 7x squared, remember we just go ahead and multiply the coefficients when we're multiplying powers that have the same base, we add the exponents. So that's going to give us negative 21 x to the fourth power. I'm just bringing down this subtraction sign. Now I'm going to multiply negative 3x squared times x. Well, it's going to stay negative 3x and x to the second power times x to the first power will be x to the third power. So we have negative 3x to the third power. I'm bringing down this addition sign, and I'm going to do this multiplication, negative 3x squared times 4. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the constants, and that will give us negative 12x squared. Now, just to clean this up a little bit, because here I'm subtracting a negative, and here I'm adding a negative, and we can clean that up and rewrite it as negative 21x to the fourth power plus x or 3x to the third power minus 12x squared. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example before we move on. This one's a little simpler than the one we just did, but it works the same way. So the first thing we have is x, the monomial x times the polynomial 2x minus 5. Again, we're going to use the distributive property. So let's take a look at what that looks like. We're going to distribute this x across the difference that's inside the parentheses. So we're going to have x times uh, 2x, which would be 2x to the second power. I'm just bringing down my subtraction sign. This is x times 5, which would be 5x. And so now we have 2x squared minus 5x. I'm sure you're going to have more questions as we move on today, but just putting this up here as a little reminder of how we did it today and the process for multiplying a monomial times a polynomial. 